this is courtesy of the Friday Kiss subreddit. It says, um, Chris Talia gets annoyed with Brendan. I fucking love this one. This one's good. I don't, I don't think he does stand up. Yeah, British no. comic? No, he's American, no, he's isn't American. he? Yeah. I don't know. Wow, man, he's a good actor. Oh, does he be British in it and stuff? I don't know. No. Oh, wow, this guy just saying shit, huh? Oh, he's an American uh, history. Uh, no, the people will King literally. Queens, the queen. <laughs> uh, let's go one more time. One more time. I don't, I don't think he does stand up. Yeah, British no. comic? No, he's American, no, he's isn't American. he? Yeah. I don't know. Wow, man, he's a good actor. Oh, does he be British in it and stuff? I don't know. No. Oh, wow, this guy just saying shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is funny because I think someone mentioned it in the comments or replies of another clip I made. Um, basically saying that, you know, r they, they're disappointed, like, Jeremy, you know I mean? because they were big fans of Chris. And it's just sad to see how he's kind of end up where he's ended up. I don't think it's sad because clearly the guys are creeping a monster. But I just think it's hilarious that at one point in Chris Alea's career, he used to treat Brendan and Brian like they were literally beneath him. Like, and they kind of were at one point. But there was a clear hierarchy in terms of pecking order they and they all understood chris is the big draw and Brendan would say we're nobodies right nobody knows who you are and then very quickly things changed to the point where now chris is depending on brendan shaw for a, for a paycheck he needs his paycheck he turns up every fucking week he never misses a show He's there all the time he actually needs this money he needs his exposure he needs his look he needs his attention he needs it but there's a point in time where you know, I don't think did Brendan ever appear on Chris Lee's podcast. You think about that. I don't think so. Did did he ever appear on there? I doubt it. So he never once appeared on Chris Lee's pod. I don't think Brian did, apart from the pod that they did after he got cancelled. So then all of a sudden, Brendan worms his way into his life, pretends to be his best friend, and now he can't, you know, unshackle himself from fucking Brendan's fucking grip because he actually needs him. He legitimately needs a business career. I think this is fucking beautiful. I love how karma works. Oh, he's an American uh, history. Uh, no, the people will King literally. Queens. The Queen was bad as fuck. Who? Who? And King and Queens. Back King, then, what's the King, name of the show? King and Queens. <laughs> That's the, the show. That Are you talking about King of Queens? Yes. <laughs> I love how he just refuses to just admit his mistake. King and Queens, the King of Queen, like Jesus Christos, man inability to just say the simplest of words is just one of the ultimate ultimate redacted signs and just as well just admit it. hold your hands up and say oh yeah my bad i fucked up nah let's just do that shark eyes dolphin smile so that shark eyes dolphin smile thing that he does where he's just like a 10 yard death stare and keep it moving but let's not admit our mistake let's just keep it moving and these guys try and make it seem like it's funny and it's hilarious when really deep down they're all dying inside because they're like hold on this guy's the dumbest guy between us three, but he's also maybe the richest. <laughs> like, how is that possible? <laughs> you know, they're all probably thinking that deep in their heads, like, fucking hell, this guy's actually paying our wages. And he legitimately is redacted. Ah, completely different show. Yeah. King yeah. and Queen. Yeah. <laughs> talking about. That's a, that's a gay edition. <laughs> yeah. She was bad back then. You're like an old man. Yeah. Who was like an old man? Who was bad? bad. Yeah, yeah. Was bad. She was Remini. hot. Leah Remini. Maybe the fat guy. That's fine. She she was pretty, but you're talking back about then? You, you, no 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 dude. sitcom, bro. We're talking about I'm back to see Eric on mine's the mine's on the Monday, whatever it is. I'll tell you what, if you're in Phoenix, out. whoops, if you're in talking. Phoenix, yeah, August 11th, yeah, James Cameron's gonna open for me. Whoa, James Cameron, really? Yeah, he's talking about submarines. Whoa, stand up live two shows Friday, Where? Where? August 11th, stand up live Phoenix. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I love that place. That's a great. JT's place. wings. Best chicken wings you ever have in your life. Don't ever say that. Irvine <laughs> Improv. Oh, well, take him to Haunted House. Zach Baggins Haunted House. We're gonna degrees anywhere. I love how he keeps touching Chris. And like I said before, I think Chris personally, it's my just humble opinion from just some rubbish observations. But I have a feeling that Chris is one of those guys that doesn't like getting touched. He doesn't like rough play. He doesn't like any of that shit. He didn't play sports. He's clearly not into it. Doesn't care for it in the slightest. And if he was a bigger star and didn't have you know the smudge of fucking being a diddler against his name he'd make it more clearer but in this position he can't because that guy pays his wages so he has to kind of just pretend like it's okay with it when really it's killing him inside we're not no, scared the yeah, shit i'm taking the zach baggins okay, well, haunted he's three house. months old <laughs> yeah i know really scared what's the haunted house thing zach baggins ghost adventures is it actually oh well that's oh, actually so haunted okay no. it is creepy dude, out, dude. they have sharon tate's dress that she got it's stabbed so in. annoying well that's not haunted that's just survive that and tell me you don't believe Baggins? it does survive it what's it called 
Did Jack you to- Baggins. Doesn't matter. All done. You see the fucking vibe of it. That's a perfect place to kind of let's let's actually get that screen grab. That's a fucking perfect screen grab there. That describes Crystal Lea's, uh position perfectly, actually, on that fucking show. Doesn't want to be there, but kind of has to be there, you know? 